Flirting can be a dangerous game under the best of circumstances. If you flirt too little, your crush might not even realize you're interested, but flirt too much and you risk coming on too strongly. Luckily, we'll help you navigate the world of flirting and do so confidently and successfully. But first, click subscribe and turn on your notifications for more from The Taco. Let's get started. Response time. Texting is a great and low-risk way to flirt, but it does come with some challenges. Sending a message to your crush gives you time to think of the perfect thing to say, but don't expect a prompt response. No matter how much someone likes you, people are busy, things happen, and phones malfunction. If you feel frustrated by someone's lack of response, be patient. Resist the urge to send endless question marks or ask them what you did wrong. Bringing it up. Talking to your crush can be overwhelming at first. It's easy to fall back on friendly banter, which is easier to pull off compared to flirting. But although it's a risk, you have to be willing to put yourself out there. Try giving a compliment or two and see how your crush reacts. If they seem receptive, there's a chance your feelings are reciprocated. But if it seems as if your compliments are making them uncomfortable, apologize and change the subject. Eye contact. It may seem like making eye contact is a good way to show interest, but too much can be intimidating. Instead, try looking at more than just the eyes of the person you're talking to. Look from eye to eye, to nose, or even lower to the nose and mouth. Find a comfortable medium between non-stop staring and zooming your eyes over their body and keep things subtle. Warm up. It can be tempting to get physically close to someone you like. Instead of jumping straight to contact, try working your way in. Keep in mind that most people have a personal space bubble of about 18 inches in every direction. Subtly enter their personal space by moving closer or touching something near them. If they seem to move closer to you as a result, that's a great sign that your flirting is a success. Touching. If it seems as if the person you're talking to is receptive, it's okay to use physical contact as a way to flirt. But the key here is to proceed slowly. Instead of wrapping them in a potentially traumatizing bear hug, try touching your foot against theirs underneath a table, or lightly touch their arm to emphasize a point during a conversation. These physical gestures signify that you'd like a closer relationship and make the other person feel desired. Questions. No matter how introverted someone is, everyone enjoys talking about themselves. Show how good of a listener you are by asking more questions than you answer. Not only will this help you get to know the person you're talking to, but they'll have a great time chatting about their interests. Be engaged in the conversation. Don't just smile and nod while half listening. Don't be afraid to ask for advice or opinions as a way to bring yourself into the conversation. The Ask. Flat out asking someone out on a date can be a big gamble. What if instead you could get someone to ask you out? What you want to use here is called an embedded command, although it's really more of a suggestion. Instead of asking someone to take in a movie with you, mention that you really wanted to see a movie but your friend flaked on you. This gives the other person an opportunity to offer to take you instead. Lighthearted. One huge mistake people make when flirting is setting up expectations. We get it. Sometimes you see someone cute and start imagining what your wedding dress would look like, but that can end with you putting a lot of pressure on the person you're talking to, and people can sense desperation. Try to keep your flirting carefree and fun without being too invested in the outcome. Being unavailable. Resist the urge to feel like you have to be at the beck and call of your crush. We aren't talking about purposefully ignoring them or playing games here, but don't be afraid to let their texts linger for a while before answering if you're truly busy. This shows you're out living your life instead of waiting by the phone. Snooping. In this day and age, it can be almost impossible to resist doing a little online espionage on someone you like. Social media means people can put their whole lives out there for others to see and it can be tempting to snoop. But if you do give in to the urge, you have to keep the information quiet. Nothing is going to torpedo a conversation faster than revealing a fact about someone that they didn't tell you themselves. Compliments. A sincere compliment is a great way to flirt, but be careful. Avoid complimenting the person's body as much as possible. Sure, that can be fun once you're in a relationship, but you don't want to come on too strong. Try saying something nice about a skill or talent they possess. These compliments are often much more meaningful than one based simply on appearances. Boundaries. Having and maintaining boundaries is an important part of flirting and dating. If you flirt with someone, they may flirt back with you. And while that's a good thing, make sure what they're saying doesn't make you feel uncomfortable. Know your boundaries and don't be afraid to push the block button if someone doesn't respect them. On the flip side, if you're the one who has overstepped, make sure to apologize and back off. Well written. Texting is a great way to communicate, but you want to watch your tone. Try to keep things conversational and avoid sending messages that look like an email from work. But you also don't want to go too overly casual with tons of abbreviations and emojis. Doing so can make you come off as immature, so try to text the way you would speak in person. 
Competition. When you're in the early stages of flirting with someone, it can be easy to get a little overeager. Maybe you're enjoying texting with someone, but see another woman liking all of his Facebook selfies. Resist the urge to show jealousy in these situations. After all, flirting is supposed to be lighthearted and fun. You don't have any claim over the other person just because they're chatting with you. Jealousy isn't a good look on anybody. Sharing space. If you're trying to strike up a conversation in person, don't feel like you have to constantly talk about them. Comment on your surroundings, make a witty observation about what's around you, and try to have an enjoyable conversation rather than a bold-faced flirtation. Once you've bonded over the band that's playing, then feel free to pay a compliment and practicing your flirting skills. Tell us about your awkward moment in the comment section. Then hit the subscribe button to get more videos from the taco.